everyone, Daniel here, 395 Junkie, and we are headed out to go do some desert camping. All right, so right now we are, well, Itzy's driving, first of all, so that's terrifying. <laughs> and we are on Hawk Canyon Trail. That's gonna take us right up in that area up there. So Bree is spinning her tires, starting to get stuck. So we're gonna show her how to put it in four wheel drive. What happened? It's getting pretty sad. <laughs> Did you put it in four-wheel drive? <laughs> you don't think so? Nobody. You good? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. You're stuck. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right. Four high. Yeah, pull it back. I don't have time to play these games with you, dear. I, don't know I got another doing. crisis down there. We're five minutes into the trail, everybody's getting stuck. Down here. Now this is the even more embarrassing one. What happened, Mama Goose? Of course I'm gonna record it. How'd you get stuck? Why don't you put in four-wheel drive? Why don't you put in four-wheel drive right now? Oh, wow. All right, put in four-wheel drive. I have no idea how she got stuck with 35s. Four high, five. Four high baby doll. Did you put it four all? Yeah. yeah, just go. Wow, just like that. Hold on, now you're giving me a ride up there. should have grabbed it when you saw the wind take instead of just stare at it. Oh dear. Sorry dear. You should have grabbed it. Oh, I'm sorry I was busy getting tape out so I could have fixed it. You should have done both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a hot weekend now. Is your camera rolling? It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's a genius and I have extras. Here, dear, some of this is open. Just be careful. <laughs> well, that was fun and exciting. <laughs> Time for food. That was a good way to start the trip. Slow. Nice and slow. You're gonna wait for me at the bottom. You're good. You're good. All right, now turn a little bit driver. Nice and slow. There's a big hole right here. All right, let me go check it out. Hold on. Nice and slow. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Slow. All right, go ahead and go. Nice and slow, slower. Slower, nice, slower, slower. That's good, you're fine. Keep going. All right, now to turn passenger a little. Slow, 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 slow. You're fine. <laughs> you're fine now. 
So this is camp. We just pulled up a little while ago. That's the hill that we drove down, which from here, I guess it kind of looks a little sketch, but it really wasn't that bad. It's just super soft. So luckily we got the uh, awning repaired. Y'all saw what happened to it earlier. And uh, that was just my bad of getting a little too complacent. Luckily I had all those extra hinges, so not sure how much longer I'll have this uh, bat wing. I mean, it's great, but there are a lot of other awnings that you don't have to worry about staking down and using the legs. And that was a perfect example of why I didn't want to do it because it was just a quick lunch and it would have been great just to tie it off and not worry about it. But obviously the bat wing can't handle it. Um, you know, and a lot of people will think that it's a uh, design flaw why those uh hinges always break but the reality is these hinges are meant to be the weakest point so they're the ones that break and uh they sell a bunch of extras which is you know from when i broke the first time i bought a bunch of extras for a time just like this so you're doing pretty girl no no. You are so well behaved, mommy. Look at you. <laughs> Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Brianna is not a good girl. It's me. All right, Brianna. Let's take it down. Where are we going, dear? Um, into the slot canyon. And what are we? Sierra. Oh wow. Oh boy. There is just barely enough room to squeeze by here. Hey, wait. And Gabby is just about to get here. And rather than hop in Mama Goose's car, it is perfect weather right now. I'm just gonna take a little hike over to the bottom of this hill and hike up it. And she's really getting good timing because I didn't want her to try to come down that hill at night. So I'm gonna meet her at the top and We'll get her and bring her back to camp and start cooking dinner. What time is it, dear? 6.50. 6.50. And we are going to get the steaks seasoned and then we're going to get the brussels sprouts on and we're going to start cooking dinner i got my sous chef here sous chef isabella <laughs> and tonight what we're making is i'm sure you guys have seen in my videos before it's just uh filet mignon uh we're gonna cook it with some brussels sprouts and drizzle it with some balsamic glaze and we're gonna call it dinner this is super easy um I mean, we'll probably cook this in 20, 30 minutes, but it doesn't take a whole lot of ingredients, which I like, especially on the first night of camping, because when you get to camp, you just want to hang out and not do a whole lot. But at the same time, I still like uh, to treat my family and my family's friend, my fourth daughter with a <laughs> decent meal. So uh, we're gonna go to get these seasoned with salt and pepper, garlic salt, and we're gonna let them sit for a little bit while I get the Brussels sprouts on. 
little bit of olive oil. All right, so the Brussels sprouts are just about done. So we're gonna put them on another plate, sous chef. Get them nice, close together, and lid. All right, so steaks are all cut up and sliced. Let's put the Brussels sprouts in here. All right, balsamic glaze. All right, so everything is done. And we have four plates, so the girls got the plates. Mama Goose and I are gonna chow down on the steaks and Brussels sprouts drizzled with a little bit of balsamic glaze. All right, what a fantastic morning it is. Uh, Saturday and everybody's kind of starting to stir a little everybody's gonna get up uh, I've been up for a little bit and it's been a really gorgeous morning watching that Sun come up over those hills behind me uh, Made some coffee. We're gonna get some breakfast on here in a little bit and then we're gonna pack it up and See what the day holds for us uh, originally All right, so today's breakfast French toast super simple Easy to make. Just gonna do a little bit of eggs, cinnamon, nutmeg, and somebody's hiding it, vanilla extract. Mix it all together, pie pan, done. Throw it on the scottle. Oh, by the way, happy Halloween. And Diana reminded me earlier that it's Halloween and I didn't. Got a shout out. Uh, you, you guys a shout out. Give her a shout out. Diana Mohammed on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> She's single, fellas. Oh my god. Wow, it's What do you think, dear? Was that awesome or what? So scary. Why? You don't trust your dad or what? You did a good I job. Do. You did a really good job. Um, <laughs> hey, is the sway bar on? Yeah, it is. All right. Go ahead and go to the next obstacle and hold short. All right, so we hit pavement and we are now south of uh, the 78. Hey dear. Hi. Air it down doing? just to make it a little bit of a smoother ride. Gabby, what are you doing? Airing down. Very nice. What are you doing? Videoing you airing down. Sounds like a hard job. It is. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> Mama Goose, what are you doing? down. Such a fun job, isn't it? It is entirely fun. <laughs> it means fun is ahead. <laughs> That's right. Let's go take a look at 
Sierra and Brianna. Aww, sweetie Say pie. Hello. Okay, wait, look it. Spooky cat. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're here at the Wind Caves, uh, which you guys can find on your GPS. It's probably about a 20 minute hike up there. And right now it's like 90 degrees, so it may not be entirely the best time, but it'll still be worth it. The girls will like it. So we're gonna get this hike and then we're gonna go find some shade off of a canyon wall and eat lunch and then do some more wheeling to go find camp. So catch up with you guys at the Wind Caves. And there's the wind caves. What's going on over here? My daughter decided to not listen to me. I didn't do anything. I'm aware of I've what I've been telling, was to. and I even told you and Bree and Gabs, and she didn't do anything wrong, but she hit the sidewall of her tire against a jagged rock. So when you're out in terrain like this with a bunch of rocks kind of jumping out at you from all over the place, always go over the tire as best over you can, rock. over the rock. Um, as best you can as opposed to trying to squeeze through it because when you try to squeeze through them or even if you're not squeezing through them if you're not watching what's on the trail in front of you all it takes is just a little rock to puncture your sidewall so had to change this real quick and uh, <laughs> then we can set up camp all right so camp is set and it's been a long day we uh, left our first spot which was over there at slot canyon and we took a little route out of there that took us up the desert over towards Akatia Wells and uh, Blow Sand Hill. Yeah, so we continued up Fish Creek and we went past Sandstone Canyon. We'll hit that up in the morning when hopefully it's not as crowded as it would have been today because there was a lot of people out here. I'm Sue Chef. So, Sue Chef right here. Sue Chef. Happy Halloween, everybody. It is Saturday night. I won't make. <laughs> What did you do? She's giving you bunny ears because oh. we're in third grade right now. <laughs> hey. No, I'm just kidding, Mama Goose. All right, so it's Saturday night, and we are going to cook some uh, shrimp fried rice. And, the good thing and we're feeding for six, so what might look like a bunch of shrimp is a bunch of shrimp because we got a bunch of people we're feeding. A little garlic salt, a little pepper. All right, so shrimp is done. We're gonna pull this off. We are gonna cook the rice, do a little bit of fried rice, starting with some olive oil. A little bit of butter. Or a lot of bit of butter. And now for my trick, the volcano. <laughs> no. So we're adding a little bit of what is that, dear? Fried rice seasoning. Fried rice seasoning. All right, so shrimp's cooked with the seasoning. Now we're gonna put the egg in here. Go ahead, dear. But you gotta go fast. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we got our eggs going here. Ooh. We're gonna let that cook. All right, so rice is all cooked with the egg. 
Now we're going to put some veggies in the middle and warm them up. All right, so now that the shrimp and eggs cooked, we got the veggies on there and we're going to let everything think about what it's done. Shrimp's here. We're just about done, dear. Good job. Good job. All right, so we're going to add the shrimp right on top. Little soy sauce and we're gonna let it all kind of cook together. And before you know it, it's gonna be time to eat. <laughs> Shrimp fried rice, all done. All mixed up. Everybody gets three scoops. All right, we're ready to eat. We are gonna cook popcorn on the scottle for the first time, which I've never done, Ooh. so I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. So what we're doing tonight is white popcorn with some white chocolate drizzle with some crushed Oreos, and it should turn out amazing. Technically, it's white corn. It hasn't been popped yet. White corn that hasn't been popped yet. Mm. Ooh, it popped. Wow. That's a lot of popcorn. That's all done? All right, pour the white chocolate. Make, make sure it's nice and warm though, Itsy, so it drizzles all over this. What I think you should, I offer my opinion? Sure. Get a big lip and put it all together and shake it. Uh, phew. You sit there and let's look pretty right. here. Get chocolate on your daughter. Now pour the Oreos. You're done, it's you're done. No, I still literally any other time. family would not have these kinds of issues. <laughs> we got some white <laughs> we got some white chocolate with some Oreo crumbles. And we will see how it all tastes here in a second. Try it right now. <laughs> wait, wait, right here, right here, right here. Oh, I thought you were gonna feed me. Oh. Mmm. I stop again. Give him some. Well, that's twice for her. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs>
bacon, eggs, hash browns, and English muffin, and coffee. We're gonna eat breakfast, we're gonna get camp broke down, and we will hit the trail and show you guys what Sandstone Canyon looks like in just a little bit. I found my chopstick. Be nice. Oh. <laughs> You're so cute. That was so deer. good. Why do you make breakfast like this at home? No, Sierra. Down. So we are back on the road. We had a really, really good uh, campsite last night that we thoroughly enjoyed. And now we are headed out of here and we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to Sandstone Canyon. Um, but towards the end of our uh, watch your sidewalls, girls. See, Mama Goose knows. Oh, I think I think you should have kept going this way. I don't know. Oh yeah, and now make a right right here, dear, where I am. Daniel, we're fine. They don't want my help. Fine, I won't help them. They could change their own tire, cook their own breakfast. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. Was right, Sierra. Are you being a good girl? Huh? Come on. What'd you guys think of the trail? Very cool. It was fun. Yeah. Gabby, my geologist right here, she probably appreciates it more than anybody. <laughs> Sierra just chilled. All right, well, we are making our way out of Fish Creek and we are gonna hit the road after that. We gotta air up still. And then after we air up, we're gonna head back to the house. So it was a fun trip. I was very, very happy to have all of my girls with me. So we're going to call it a wrap for this video. I'm going to get uh, editing like crazy because I'm going to have a busy week ahead of me to get everything ready again for another trip. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and please, please, please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends and uh, we'll see you guys in a week or so. Until then, take care and happy trails.